Bengals. Hey, what up, y'all? It's Ultimate Clout Gamer on. And we're about to rock and roll here soon. How are y'all today? To get into this shit. Hell yeah. That's good, y'all. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, th this is kind of brand new to me. Um, you know, having this time limit like had like I did um it was just a suggestion that I do plus I needed to uh, give myself a little more time so I could eat and also uh apparently like I'm also having a little bit of issues getting my PS5 controller to work on this game today excuse me I'm trying to figure it out by trying to get this on, because my uh, I just found out that my PS5 controller can work on when I play Steam games, and that's wild. Yeah. Uh, so today there was a. Pokemon presents presentation today, you know, in gaming news, and I gotta say, it's just been one disappointment after another, another Nintendo Switch, like, disappointment, like, I thought that... Hold on, y'all. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Nice. All right. Now, now the real show begins. I was like saying, it was such a down low disappointment. Like, they didn't have any new games. They didn't have... I mean, at least for Nintendo Switch. They didn't have any new games. And, you know, like, all they had was a bunch of stuff for the side games. I don't know if anybody is interested in, like... You know, Pokemon Unite and whatnot. Like, not that I have a problem with Pokemon Unite, but no mainstream, no new main games at all. At least none, like, for the, like, main series titles. And except, like, one. Excuse me, I take that back. They have po a new Pokemon Legends coming out, and, you know, there's no actual gameplay, but, like, they had, 
like, I guess it's coming out sometime after this year. I guess Pal Pal World might have something to do with it because if you didn't know, Pal World like recently came out and it is doing better than Pokemon, like the Game Freak has. Like. Game Freak is actually coming at the creators of PAL World with papers. Like, they're gonna sue him through court, apparently. And it's like, yeah, Game Freak, I, I, gee, I wonder why people are buying this, you know, wannabe Pokemon game with guns and crafting over your regular games. Probably because, you know, Game Freak's been very lazy for a while. And, um, you know, they're going to, you know, now, now Game Freak is deciding to pay, like, you know, take their time with the next big title, which is going to be, um, which is going to be Pokemon Legends, like, X, like, I guess it's going to be a sequel to... Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I have too. Like, that's actually the only really good one. Like, out of the new ones. Like, I really liked Pokemon Violet in, like, Generation 9. Hold up, y'all. I'm about to do something. I'm about to promote Chaos Bloodshed to be my moderator. Huh. I guess right-clicking on it to turn him into a moderator doesn't exactly work like that. Definitely gonna have to figure that out. But yeah, I I'm disappointed. No, no wonder why I said that the, uh, this year, it's disappointing with the games. But you know what? You know, it's just really weird that so far, only one game is really good. And it's, like, you know, this year so far, and it's Pokemon, I mean, not Pokemon. Final Fantasy Legends Reaper, which we're gonna get back to it. We're, we're getting back to it as soon as it comes out. But anyways, you know what was even stranger? Like, I had this... Hold on, let me get this cup of coffee. I'm gonna need it. I had this really, really weird dream. And, you know... You know, this weird dream I had of mine... You know, basically... You know, like... I guess, like, Dr. Fat, like, Dr. Fat Botnik, like, at least that's what I, you know, I call him here, like, he came in and invaded my dreams, like, it was, like, very weird, he was like, hey, 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 I see that you lost the bottom swell last night, I was enjoying myself while eating some popcorn, laughing like I always do in a Sonic game, and... I seen that your bomb took quite a swollen beating. And it's like, you think that's bad? I got something swollen for you at the end of Act 3. I'm like, I don't even want to know what's at the end of Act 3. And oh shit, we're at the end of Act 3. But anyways, you know, a little, you know, some Easter egg info about this stage. First, first stage in Sonic the Hedgehog ever. Also, like, it's the only, um, it's, unfortunately, it's an oversaturated game, um, level, the type of level that they've used in Sonic games. They've even brought this same exact stage twice. Once in Sonic Generations, another time in Sonic Mania. 
And this is a great stage. It's, I love what they do in Sonic Man um, Generations and Mania, but like in Generations, they give it the full 3D treatment. And in Sonic Mania, like they bring, they give it like a complete HD overhaul. Like, no, like, I mean, not as in 3D, but a 2D, like, HD overhaul, where, like, it looks really sharp. It looks like it was acting like this, but better. And, um, there's also, like, remixed music on the second, like, part, like, second act of the stage. It, it's really dope what they did, like, in Sonic Mania. But, like, yeah, like, it, Something I wish, though, that they would do for once they would start off a Sonic game that didn't have a grass trope at the very beginning. But, like... Oh, shit, here he is. Hey, hey, hey! Wanna see what I got that's bulging? Hey, Sonic, here's a tear bag to the face! Oh, fuck, get away from me! You gross motherfucker! Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Hey, hey, hey! Why do you have one ball anyways? Hey, hey, hey! You ever heard of marriage? You know that old ball and chain? I'm like... Man... But... Well, wait, who would marry you? You know... Kyla Pryde's sister on... You know, the set of Fat Albert. You know, Keenan Thompson's my cousin, right? And I'm like, but you're, but you're white. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's, you know, marriage does that to you. And, and he ran away. He ran away. What a little bitch. Now, this is Marble Zone. This, you know... Yeah, man. I, I love the, like, you know, these old games. One of those reasons being, I'm actually super good at these games. But yeah, the, um... Marble Zone is actually the first, like, stage that they were designed when this game originally came out. Oh no, man, I'm not talking bad about it. I'm making fun of the fact that Game Freak is pissed, and they went to sue, they're su suing them, and like, it's like completely outdid the last Pokemon game. And I think it's funny as hell that Game Freak is like freaking out about their precious game series being outdone by what some are suggesting a clone of Pokemon. Like, it, and it's it's funny. Oh shit! But yeah, like the Marble the Marble Zone is really um. Interesting as in the fact that Really? <laughs> hey man, you're one of the few, like there's quite a bit of people that think otherwise, but you know, um like I was saying, exactly if you only see like a small amount, you're only going to see I mean you're only gonna know so much about it. But as I was saying, um, like, I look forward to trying it out. I have, um, what's an Xbox Pass, a free trial. But I'm way holding off because I don't want 
to take that free trial until I know I have the money to buy a year's worth of Xbox, um, you know, um, uh, Game Pass. When I can, that's when I'm going to, you know, use my trial, and after that trial's up, I'm going to get a year's worth of Game Pass. Thing is, I'm not really that fond of Xbox games. I mean, anybody that knows me knows I'm a Sony guy. And if it isn't Sony I'm playing, I'm playing my Nintendo Switch. There is no... You know, I don't miss having an Xbox. I used to have a 360 and I still don't miss it to this day. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Damn. And that's the beautiful thing about, you know, this Origins Collection. Like, you can just simply do that. But like, as I was saying, though, um, I have some games in mind that I'm going to stream on here. I'm going to stream Fable The Lost Ages and Fable 2 in the future. Like, this is what I'm, that is what I'm going to be playing in the future. I'd say that I, you know, streamed Starfield, but yeah, I haven't heard good things about Starfield. I, I don't think we're ever going to play that, if I'm being honest. We, well, but we might play though is Oblivion on the stream because that the only version of Oblivion on the Xbox I mean the only version of it that's worth playing is the Xbox version because unlike the PS3 version which I also have a PS3 it, it's the only, like, the Xbox 360 version is the only one that has all the DLC. So, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Now, as far as this stream goes... We're going to go... I'm going to try to beat all of these until... You know... So, like... Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Remake comes out. But... Um... Like, I'm going to try... To, like, beat this... Beat, beat all of these until I get to the point. Yeah, until that happens. Like, I'm gonna try to beat all, like, all these games. Like, I'm looking more forward to Reaper. You know, something, though, I've never understood, though, about the Marble Zone. Even though it's like the, it's uh, technically the first level that the team created. Where are the marbles? Like that's at least what I used to think when I was younger. Hell yeah, man! Like I, I, I think like that. Like it's gonna be more fun. Like we gotta see what ha else happens in Breaking Cloud. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens more in Breaking Cloud. With, with Cloud Pinkman and Heisenroth. Yeah, but, I mean, as I was saying, though... This stage, like, has no marbles. And the first time, like, I was thinking that, I was like, you know, maybe not the first time, I was like, where are the marbles? Like, 
I mean, I'm not expecting to play like a game of Marble Madness, which, if you don't know what Marble Madness is, it's a Sega Genesis game back in the day that's like one of the hardest games that I've ever played. Like, it's a really arcadey. It's like a dark, it's not like very Dark Souls esque, but the difficulty is that of a Dark Souls game. Oh, come on, man. Really? Come on. Oh, shit. <sighs> wow. This is not a good look. This is not a good look at all. Mm. Experience some, some technical difficulties at the moment. Damn it, man. Fucking damn it. Come on, what the hell is going on here? Wow, just come on. Okay, okay. I think I may have fixed it for now. Thank God. I think part of the problem was I was on my, like my phone was on the internet and I think it was pulling from that. I don't know if that could completely be the problem. I think my internet provider Spectrum might have something to do with this. Because they are sh a shitty, shitty provider. Like, you don't... I don't know if they're as bad as Time Warner. Because... I've used that internet before, that was also terrible. But Spectrum sometimes can be a shit show. But yeah, like I was saying like I used to, like I said, I, I see no marbles here, but there's fire, there's lava, I mean, there's lava, oh well, yeah, there is fire, there's fire in the background, but there's lava everywhere, and it's underground, and I think all the hard solid, like, type of, like, structure around here might be made of marble, like, I think it's marble as in, you know, marble, you know, the kind of marble that can be found deep in, you know, underneath the ground. Like, if you dig far enough in the ground, which it would take special equipment, you'll eventually come to the type of ground called marble. And I think that's what they were going for in that stage. Because there's underground... And there's lava, just like there's lava in the core of Earth. But yeah, um, hold on. I need to bring up the chat on my phone because I don't know how to, like, bring up the chat on this PC while running this game. Like, it shouldn't take me very long. Okay. Really? Time Warner. Uh, okay. 
Well, I'm like, I, I don't know, did I call them Warner Bros or something? Like that? I mean, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on in that part of uh, this country where Time Warner is. Like, I mean, is that, like, I used to live in Ohio, and last time I checked, they were Time Warner. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they could be, con I I'll just simply just refer to them as shit. But I'm just wondering if, no, they're kind of, yeah, I'd have to say they're still... Spectrum is probably a little better, but, you know, that's not saying much. Like, bro, you never use Spectrum. You have no idea. Uh, Chaos? Who we, we seen messaging in here, you know, he knows about Spectrum. In fact, you know, we lived in the same place. We lived in the same place in California using the same internet, and he'll tell you all about Spectrum. Hey, who was that? Oh, snap. I definitely seen a third person in here. Really? You used to work for Spectrum, huh? Oh, wait, 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 was it Time Warner that you said he used to work for? But, like, yeah, like, I, like, I, like, I'm just curious, you know, what they're even called now. But, I guess I'll never know. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm, where I'm at, I'm stuck with Spectrum anyways. Oh, okay. They did? Or maybe Spectrum bought them out, or like, there, there has to, Time Warner still has to be around. There's no way that they're not around. Unless, I don't know. Like, you know, I haven't looked that deep into uh, the internet to really know, you know, about these providers. Like, I haven't looked into the, like, details and like or histories about internet providers but like yeah um there's a conversation part of the conversation i forgot to make more details of after this like i have a little bit of a timeline as to what i'm gonna be playing exactly like after the, you know this we're going right back to Final Fantasy, and then we're going to be playing Dead, I mean, not Dead Island 2, um, Dying Light 2, like after Final Fantasy, because they have a new Reloaded Edition. And another thing, I've never... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, the, the, the good old Switch and Bait. That's exactly what they they changed their name for. Like, they're known as something else, so you don't know you're stuck with crappy internet. You know, you know what I miss? I miss this service called Armstrong. That's what I miss. I had a friend who just like had that service and it was the, it's still to the day the best internet service oh yeah man speaking of that if you want me to play that just just let me know in the comments that'll be the game like well you know what we might just have a special day for Tekken I don't think I'm gonna make a long series of it because like yeah like I mean maybe the story but I'm probably gonna have a stream with y'all where I'm just basically fighting, going against online people. And we're gonna 
chat it up while I'm going against online people. But I mean, there's gonna, you know, if y'all wanna see a Tekken stream with a storyline, I'm down for it. I mean, I'd have to start all over again because I'm currently renting Tekken through Gamefly. And believe it or not, I'm actually gonna be owning it here soon too. Because, um, I got a gift certificate, like two of them. Like it was an, it's digital ones through the email. Um, from Best Buy. I have a Best Buy credit card that I used. And I had, I got one. So I could also make payments on this laptop. Like, laptop, the new laptop I have, I'm making payments with. But it wasn't really that, you know, it's not really going to be that expensive to pay this off. Probably going to take me a year at most, unless I decide to pay more on it. But, like, I also used a credit card to make some more purchases. And I got these free gift certificates, 125, 1 100. And, hey, hey, hey! Oh man, not you again. Don't you like the way I drop it like it's hot? Drop it like it's hot? Nah, nah, not, not, not one little bit. Now anyways, you avoided my question last time. Why are you white? Like I said, like, like I said, hey, I married Kayla, Kyla Pratt's sister of Fat Albert. I met her on set. And I, because Kenny Thompson's mutt was my double. Was my double. Man. Why? Listen, quit avoiding the question and get back to it. Listen. Dr. Fat Botnik is such an asshole. He keeps running away from my questions. He keeps docking and dodging these questions. I'm going to get my answer next time. I mean, I, I like, you know, I kind of want to know why he has one ball sack. One mechanic ball sack. Did you guys see that at the end of the first stage of Act 3? Any. He hit Sonic with that ball sack. He teabagged him right in his face. Yeah, he is. He's he's gonna be around for a long time because, of, like, like I said, man, in the dream, he said that he snuck like a ch like a chili dog in my mouth while I was asleep, and he he said that he snuck some acid in there, and I'm in a coma. And I'm st gonna be stuck in the 90s playing these so Sonic games until we I beat him. The trip isn't over until I beat these Sonic games. Uh hey, 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 hey. You know what? I don't know, like, the thing is, it was in a dream, okay? I don't even know, like, he, he it's not like he's alive, alright? He said, he said this to me in my dream, so it's not like it's reality. This is, that's like, this is not reality. This game that I'm playing, this team up with Sonic isn't real. But Sonic definitely needs my help, because we both need to escape this realm. This realm that I don't know if it's a coma or a dream. But anyways, man, these chili dogs got me fucked up. Like, because somehow I'm in a coma or a dreamlike state. Kind of like what the background looks like on this spe special stage. So like, 
how are y'all like I know that this ain't Final Fantasy, but how y'all how y'all liking me going through this game? Like like I said man, I'm very, very talented at these at these games. Like it's not easy. I needed something like besides the fact that I wanted to showcase my talent in these games online, I've al I've always wanted to do that, like really show them off. Like um, I wanted to go this route because number one, like I didn't want to play another long game. Like Final Fantasy is coming out in a couple of days. And I basically shown y'all everything that there is with this demo. There's like really not much to hang out, nothing much else. Like that uh, playground where I was at, where I was going against that sea monster. Yeah, that's just a playground. And also, I'm gonna be repeating that whole um. I'm going to be repeating that section when I play the actual game. I mean, I might as well just hold off. And, you know, I'm going to play this today and tomorrow. Because to my understanding, by Thursday, it, like, by Thursday, it's going to um, be out. Final Fantasy. This is why you wrap up, kids, so crabs don't get you. But yeah, like I was saying, yeah, that's why I'm playing Sonic, to bide my time. Like, that's the only real reason why I'm playing here, is to bide my time. And I've always wanted to show a gameplay of me playing this, because... I'm, I'm a fucking beast at this. It doesn't matter that I died there. If, if I die on this game, it's usually because of dumb fucking luck. That's the only reason. It's never because bad skills. Like, it takes multiple playthroughs and experience to be good, really good at these games. Like, yeah, any streamer can just be good at them. It takes dedication to be at my level. You, you would have had to have played through these games for years to be as good as me. No, there's no way. But yeah, this is the Spring Yard Zone. Probably like one of the, you know, best, you know, songs in the game. Also, it's pre-carnival, I mean, not carnival, pre-casino night zone. I mean, casinos, uh, yeah, like, uh, casino night zone, I think that's what it's called. But like, it's, like, the, um, the, there's a stage in sec uh, Sonic 2 where you play through a casino. And this is what led to that stage like when the, the team was building this they had this in mind when making like casino night zone and number two but yeah like while i'm playing through this i'm making sure i beat all the bonus stages too like this playthrough is gonna be good only, you know, I mean, not good, but only long. Hell yeah, man. It's only, it's only gonna be long, you know, a longer playthrough if I, you know. Yep, but like I was saying...
wait a minute, what did I say? Hold up, what didn't I say? Are you talking to me? <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying though... Well, what was I saying? Yeah, I was speaking about Carnival Night Zone. You know though... What's funny? We all had the same synergy. Even if, like, some of us didn't know, like, who it was. I mean, but the thing is, we used to all get along. Like, back in the day, we used to all get along with Chris. I mean, it was all, you get, like, the synergy should have been a given. What up, y'all? Who's joined up the chat? Who are these other two people? What up and how are y'all today? I hope today's been good for y'all. Yeah, we're right here streaming this and showing y'all my godly skills at this game until Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth comes out. Cause we're about to get back on that shit. Hell yeah. Yep, and this is why you say no to crabs. I wonder if there were crab people at one point. No? The real question is why Robotnik has them as animals. Like, I mean, not animals, but why are animals trapped inside these robots is the real question. I guess we'll find out next time. Because I've been interviewing every time he comes on here, and then he... Hell yeah! That would be dope. But yeah, like... <sighs> I'm just looking forward to this Final Fantasy game. Just like I'm f looking forward to finding out more questions. About like like interviewing Doctor Robotnik. Like I'm I'm like hey 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 I'm gonna drop you right in the I'm gonna drop you right into this bombless pit. And it's like nah, but like this is your most generic generic ass. Like... Generic ass machines ever, man. Hey, hey, hey! Don't make fun of my machines! Anyways, you were dodging my question last time. What happened to your other ball? And what does being married have to do with that? Hey! It it's really not in your business. Yeah, but why are you white, like I said, since you're Keenan Thompson's cousin? Well, it's because I have vitiligo. Marriage gave me vitiligo. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I don't really know. I don't know what to tell you. Listen, man, I don't think you were ever black. I just think that... You know what I really think? Even though you're as white as Michael Jackson, you look more like Michael Jackson, but if you were living in... If you had a... Damn it! Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. He's avoiding my interview. What a fucking bastard. Yeah, and you know, he seems a bit not. He seems a bit nuts. Like, he, he definitely seems a bit nuts. But yeah, uh, I hate I hate this stage because of you know, bombless pits and the sp spike shit. Like with his really lame ass machine here. Yeah, yep. 
Now he's trying to hit me with his dick. Now. First he try he swings me with it. He tries to teabag me in the face with his ball. His chain and ball. Now he's trying to fucking lay down on me like he did Kyla Pratt's sister in the, on the set of Fat Albert. Hey, Dr. Hey, Dr. Fatnik. Hey, hey. Ready to die again? Nah, man. Like I was saying, man, you ain't getting me. Like I was saying, you look more like a Michael Jackson that was in a fat suit from the set of Wheel Weird Al Yankovic's fat video. That that's what you look like. Except you have a mustache too. A dick dastardly mustache. Yeah, you think you're gonna get me again like that? I was just distracted by the this interview that I've been doing with you. Hey, hey, well, I don't got time for that interview. Every time he runs away from these interviews, he's scared of these hands and he's scared of my clout. What a bitch. And here we go. The very infamous stage that most people hate when it comes to the Sonic community. Yep. Yep, Sonic's definitely in town chaotic. But like I was saying, this stage is chaotic. People hate this stage. I mean, I can see why, because one of the biggest complaints about, you know, what I know about this game is, you know, when it comes to, like, this stage at Marble Zone, like, they made some slow zones. And, you know, I was wondering, you know, I did wonder about that, like, this stage throws the game off, if we're being honest. Like, I, I can see why it does, but I personally enjoy this water stage. Like, there's definitely, despite that, there's definitely been... Worst water stages I've played through. Listen, y'all, I was trying to actually you like do the secret that's here because apparently there's a shortcut in this first zone right here. There's a sh shortcut where you can entirely, entirely escape. I mean, not escape. You can beat half the stage in half the time. Like, it takes away half the zone. And I can, like, make my way through this game even faster. What's up? Who, who just joined my chat? I see you. I see you like the peeper enemy from Castlevania. We're right here, playing this old school Sonic, trying to escape this lucid dream that Dr. Fatnik got me trapped in. And he keeps escaping my interviews like a bitch. So I've been interviewing him every time I speak to him. Because I wanted to find out more about him. Because he entered my dreams. Last night. And now me and Sonic are stuck. In 90's purgatory. And right now. This stage could be considered purgatory to people. That like Sonic. 
Because, or actually, hell. Because this is considered the worst stage. But, I'm having a fun time. I don't give a fuck. I think the music's really catchy. I mean, I know this sounds like some under the sea type of shit, but you know what? Unlike Kingdom Hearts 2, Little Mermaid World, where there's all kinds of gay ass fishy fun, with the really lame ass mini game that you gotta do in Kingdom Hearts 2, I'm not embarrassed to play this. I'd be embarrassed to go through that. I mean, maybe if I ever play Kingdom Hearts 2 on here, which I'll heavily consider that, like, I'll go through it, but if it was like, you know, a, like a friend of mine that is like close, like that's cool, but isn't down with, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2, I'd probably never play it around him. That I kind of feel like Chris is one of those people. Yeah, you know who's on chat right now. You know, you two that I see. We all know Chris. He was definitely embarrassed to play that in front of us. Well, not me, because... But he was definitely embarrassed to play that in front of y'all. Because, you know, he knew, he, knew how, he knew how lame that shit was. Because, you know, I know how lame that shit was. But anyways, like, after, like, um, I had more to say about my timeline, um, about games I'm doing. After, um, Dying Light 2, we probably gonna go back to an RPG, and I'm probably gonna play Final Fantasy 16 again. I already beaten 16 way before I start streaming. And, um, Final Fantasy 16 has DLC that I haven't touched, and we're probably gonna play off of the New Game Plus. I haven't played New Game Plus yet, and I definitely want to play New Game Plus. I've been wanting to. It's, it actually even has a special name. It's called Final Fantasy Mode. And apparently, you also retain... Honestly, bro, I'm gonna be honest. It might not be the internet at all at this point. I could blame Spectrum all I want. It's probably the fact that I'm playing off the actual EXE, the Sonic Origins program. And... You know, it like, I don't know how to get it set up where I can have the chat and the game on my PC at the same time. That I've been trying to figure out the past couple of days is like, how do streamers do it? And I guess the best solution would be to go on YouTube and find that shit out. But I don't have time right now because... I have a full-time job that I have to, you know, go to, and, and I, I only have time to stream beforehand. I don't, I can't make time to do extra time after stream before it. Now, this coming week, Thursday through Monday, we're gonna have some long-ass streams. We're talking like... Eight plus hours of streaming. That's a little insane. But this is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth we're talking. And that's not going to be a short game. And I've been wanting to play that game so badly. That was my most anticipated game. Like, I mean, if I were to, you know, there is no other games that I anticipate, but 
There is Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Remaster for Nintendo Switch. I'm getting that. And on top of that, we're gonna have a road to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door streams. Like, I, I mean, I'm going to, you know, do that and beat Paper Mario on my Switch on the, for it, it was originally for 64, as y'all know. And it's going to be my first time beating it. Because I haven't beaten it. I've made it really far, though. Like, I made it to the point of where I was at this island full of magma and par par piranha plants. And, you know, that's kind of far, but I've, I've never managed to beat the game. Because I want to beat that game of 4,000 Year Door. So, yeah. That's definitely going down in the future. And, um, yeah, as I was saying though, after Dying Light 2, Final Fantasy 16 with its DLC, and I don't know. Like, it depends if more people, you know, it depends if more people watch these actively, or. If, if I don't get more people to respond to, you know, watching these, I'm probably, like, I mean, not watching these, but, you know, if people don't ask me what they want to see me play, I'm probably going to continue to work my own schedule. I mean, I'm going to do that most of the time regardless, but I like to, you know, shit. Like, you know, play games for other people and, you know, have a fun time. Make a funny conversation out of this as much as I can. But yeah, did you know that they reused this level, some of this level's design in the following game after this called Sonic CD? There's this stage called Tidal Tempest. And they use these same blocks in there, and like they kind of, it's kind they kind of take ideas off this this level on this game. So they kind of cheated on that game a little bit, but there's some differences too. But also the level of Hydro City and Sonic 3 and Knuckles also uses a little bit of this design. I know a lot about Sonic. Like, y'all not ready for when we get to Sonic Mania someday. Like, the newest Sonic game. Oh, you good. You good, bro. I'll continue talking. Like, I could talk all day, especially about Sonic. Especially talking to this fat motherfucker interviewing. Hey, hey, hey! Um, I'm late for a buffet. Lunch meeting. And I can't swim. That's why I'm wearing this. I'm driving this machine that's the size of a lifesaver. Oh, excuse me, a giant floaty. Man, your ass can't swim down here, Dr. Fatnik. You're too fat to swim. Ugh. I'm getting alert. Food! Damn it! Yeah! Especially in right there, that stage, um. Yep. Well, at least it wasn't Drake, because I'd kick his ass off right now. I don't care if it's him or not. I don't care if viewers came in here, I'd kick his ass off here. I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> but like, like, anyways, like, um, yeah, that is the easiest boss in this game. That's probably the only one or other reasons why I like that stage is how easy it is. And here comes. Like everyone's favorite song on the on the, you know this the first Sonic. This 
Everyone really likes this. Well, the majority liked it. Not only liked this stage, but they liked the song because I guess it makes it peaceful. But it's like there's nothing peaceful about this stage. You got enemies with gold and spikes around them that are unkillable. You got these bombs that you can't touch. Like you literally can't kill them. You have to basically run away from them. And the only way you can kill those is to have invincibility. And there's bottomless pits at the end of all these acts. But yeah, man. Like, you see, I know I've been getting it, though. I've been getting it. I've been rolling around and get, spinning it. I've been rolling around and spinning it. I've been rolling around and spinning it. Rings, I spin it. I've been rolling around and spinning it. I've been rolling around and spinning. I've been rolling around and spinning. Rings, I spin it. Yeah, I know you haven't, bro. I know. Yep. Yes, sir. He's always spinning it. Damn right! He's been rolling around and spinning it. That. He's been rolling around and spinning it, that's for sure. Rings, I spin it. Man, that's probably going to be one of the titles to one of my episodes. I've been rolling around and spinning it. I've been rolling around and spinning it. I've been rolling around and spinning it. Rings, I spin it. I know, right? <laughs> Bruh, this is the shit I th thought off the top of my dome while I was working. Like, I best believe I'm thinking 10 steps ahead with my streams. Because, you know, work so damn boring and drab at times. Especially looking at all these numbers and just the same shit every fucking day. Even though I'm supposed to be looking out for, like, if someone messes up putting on the wrong things, so defects don't happen, it's like, don't worry, I got this, I'm, 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 I'm a master builder. Way better, way better than that Bob the Builder guy. Yep. <laughs> it's like it's more like Bob the Blitzer because I constantly when I'm when I'm online I'm constantly tackling all these luxury cars fast and hard like that like where I work like they need me. Even one of my bosses has said that to my face, like she told me. Like, I like, you know, like, I know that BMW could easily replace me, but at the same time, yeah, that's who I work for. But, you know, I'm not gonna really try to put that out there on my streams because, you know, BMW, like, I don't know, just like any company you work for, it's just best that you don't really represent them. Unless, you, like, unless they want to, you know, represent you, unless they allow you to, like, promote them. And it's like, I, I, I ain't trying to promote them. Man, Drop Robotic, what is this? You got fucking jumping jacks and seesaws. What, what is this? Shoots and ladders? 
Shoot some ladders and jumping jacks, y'all. That's what we're playing here with Dr. Fat Albert. I mean, not, 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 well, you might as well be. Hey, 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 don't make fun of my games. I'm so bored. I just want to play with somebody. I have no friends. This is why I turn all of those animals into robots. Because I have no friends. And the only friends that I have is my wife. I'm that much of a loser. Yeah, you are. This is why you're playing a kid's game with me. I mean, some people could say that I'm playing a kid's game playing Sonic, but it's like, nah. Because most of these kids couldn't handle a game like this. Especially not Sonic 1. They couldn't handle this like they couldn't handle Mega Man X. Or the original Mega Man games for that. You hear me, kids? You're not ready. You're not ready for really hard games like these. Not whatsoever. I mean... Go play your Fortnite. I like Fortnite, but... This takes some actual skill. Unlike Fortnite. Especially if you're playing once you get to this zone. This zone is the hardest level in the whole stage. Uh, I mean, the whole game, obviously. But even so, I know I'm going to beat it really easily. Also, I really dig this song. You know, even if you don't like Sonic, Sonic has some of the best pieces of music in gaming. Especially for platformers. Exactly. Like this, what, it's despite the fact, you know, the difficulty, it's the fact that this wouldn't even hold their attention because it isn't glamorous. It's not all over the place. Like, it's not like, you know, what it is gaming is today, like the graphics and, you know, how fast everything is. I mean, they're not going to get behind some old games like these. SHIT! Damn! You know what those things remind me of though every time I've seen them? Has anybody ever played with those things that like, you know, they, there's like a little bit of electricity in them? Like some people that like science keep them as, I don't know, a conversation piece or something. They remind me of those electric things that you mess with, and they like, they like, can like, you can feel the electricity coming off them a little bit. That's what those things remind me of that I, that are saying out electricity. Shoot, I remember this one time in school. I think it was during high school I was at this, my, like, I went to trade school for two years in graphics design. That's how I created my promo on, like, Facebook and Instagram recently. Um, I remember being in school one day, and they had this thing. Yep. Like, the, um, they had this thing that, like, when you touch it, like, it'll send, like, some real, like, like a heavy shock on you, like it, like it shocks you pretty damn good, like, and like, like it, it isn't meant to really, you know, kill you, it's like it's such a low vol vo voltage, but, you know, it was a, like a science thing, a science pro, like, I don't know if it was a science project, but a science, like an example of the use of, for like electricity, and I gotta tell you shit, man, that shit hurt, I don't know if it hurts more than a stun gun, I've never been hurt with a. I've never been hurt with a shot with a sun gun, but I imagine it's as unpleasant as pepper spray. But I've never been hit with pepper spray neither, so I'm thankful about that. Like I, I've never been hit with like those. It's like I've never had a toothache. I've never had a toothache in my life neither.
I gotta say, I appreciate the audience that's watched me play this game, even if it isn't your cup of tea. I just hope that I can show more people the world. Even if I don't, you know, get too many view like, you know, too many viewers on Twitch, I'm sending this on YouTube. Like, you know, it's gonna be on YouTube regardless, but I'm making it a point, like, watch this shit. Watch one of the best Sonic players out there. I'm definitely putting that as a title. Because I am one of the best Sonic players out there. Hands down. Chris don't have a... Chris doesn't ha hold a candle to me on Sonic games. Like, maybe he does really well on 3D games, but... Even him... This... Game of... This god of trophy gaming... He can't touch me here. I'm like MC Hammer... When it comes to this shit. Ha 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 ha! Hey, at least I'm only saying his first name. Maybe he might show up. He, he just might show up. I hope he does. Because you know what? I'm cool. You know what? I wouldn't be mad if he did. I think we could talk it out. And then I'll be like, Yeah, man, pop up on my stream. We can make fun of what I'm playing. Yes. Yes. Exactly. He always worshipped him in villains anyways. Like, he's enjoyed every villain there ever was. Like, he's rooting for Sephiroth. But, man, if he was here, we could make fun of the game, the stream, and me all together. And then we could make fun of him, too. Yep, Heisenroth. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll be back to it this Thursday in Breaking Cloud. With... With cl starring Clout Pinkman. Oh, by the way, if you didn't see that... Yep, he sure is. Y'all didn't see that? If you go fall before that platform squashes you... Yep. Hell yeah. If you fall before that platform hits you that's supposed to crush you... Like, it, it serves as a shot, like, a shortcut. Because I just basically cut down his act to nothing. Also, the Sonic Team must be a bunch of, uh, like, I swear, sadists, because they definitely wanted to torture the, f the people that liked the first game, bringing back the Lapras Zone again for the fourth time. Just wait till we get to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I'm hardly gonna get hit on that game. I've mastered that game most of all because it's my favorite. Here we go. Dr. Fat Botnik. Hey, hey, hey! I'm here to pump you up! Nah, man. You're here to s sit on me. And it's like, hey, hey, hey. My wife liked it when I pumped her up. Yeah, except it was more like she was Lois Griffin and you were Peter. Hey, 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 I'ma crush you like Peter Griffin. 
No, man. I feel sorry for your wife. Knowing how fat he was. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, he is! He, he married off her, her off stage. That's why he has only one ball. Because he hit, he hit Sonic with his one ball. He teabagged her, teabagged Sonic right in his face. Hey, hey, hey! Don't make fun of my balls! My balls! Yeah, that's what you get. Here we go. A lame ass ending. Even though I got all the special chaos I mean I got all the chaos emeralds. Yeah, but he was talking about all kinds of weird shit about how he's married. That's why he has one ball. That's why it's all chain and ball. And the fact that marriage has turned him you know he Marriage has made him have vitiligo. So he was once black, and he has vitiligo because of his marriage. Because he used to simp. He seems like a simp. He has no friends. He all he has is his wife, and all he does is turn animals into robots. Yep. He's it's a sad, but we're finding a simp here. And you know Sonic, he ain't no simp. He's no simp. He's no sim. He definitely not a sim. Like Sonic ain't no sim. He's sly. That we're about to meet his, one of his side girls in the next game. Yeah. And unfortunately, we gotta deal with his ass too. Listen, y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm trying with this fat Albert voice. It's kind of hard, though. Like, it's probably one of my better impressions because I don't really do impressions because I can't do most well. And let's just let's not beat around the bush. My fat Albert impression sounds like Christian Bell Batman's Batman voice. Worse yet, it sounds like Bad Man from College Humor on YouTube. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> terrible, just terrible, but I mean, I, I, I'm trying, I'm trying, but it, you know, it, we're all having a good time. But I mean, we gotta stop this madman. So we can escape this trip. See, Sonic doesn't even know where he's at. I don't know where you're at, buddy. We did you got you you got a bunch of emeralds and we're still stuck. We are still stuck. And now we gotta visit Little Planet. And I am not talking about Big Little Planet. Or are I or am I? Here, he is, here she is. Yep. Playing solitaire by herself. One of Sonic's side chick, Amy Rose. She's playing because Sonic left her. And he took her rose. He took her Virginia. He took her rose. Her name is Amy Rose. And all she wants to do is give him a kiss from a rose at the seal song. This is one of my favorite Sonic games. Interestingly enough, this was the original, like this is like was made at the same time as Sonic 2. And it took an entire year to make this game. And it was only available for so for Sega CD back in the day. 
And, interestingly enough, it is also the only Sonic game with two soundtracks. A Japanese and a U.S. soundtrack. But I've always taken a shine to the U.S. track more. Also, I the first time I played this was on PC, believe it or not. Like, my, I had a stepdad at one point, and he bought this game for me one time at a grocery store. And I, I will forever treasure, you know, him for that, or I wouldn't have got, ever gotten to play this. See, see how I just switched that sound? And look, it even has a different, like, you know, song now, but we, we're not going with the Japanese one. We're going with the U.S. one. It it was always infinitely better. And here we go. Eventually, brother, I'm waiting until I, you know, can get my funds up and start paying some of my debts off. The other side. The rainbow. This is actually the first time in Sonic history where there was an animation for his game. And it's also the first vocal song in the series. Sonic called Sonic, uh, yeah, a song called Sonic Boom. This is probably the first Sonic game with a storyline, kind of. Because basically, Sonic is, I guess, traveling his world and finds the, this planet in the air that comes from space. That Robotnik, Dr. Fat Botnik, has changed to the world. Because Robotnik has all these things called the Time Stones. And... It's currently locked to this world because of these time stones. And interestingly enough, it's the also the only Sonic game where you can play the past and present of every stage. Like, you go through these gates, these signs that take you through all the past and present of all the stages. Like, it's actually a really interesting concept. Also, what I like about this game, too, is there's more of an emphasis on discovery. Like, you don't just zoom through the game like the rest of the Sonic games. So there you go, I already just passed through a gate, and now I'm going through a different version of this level with a different song. Like, they made separate soundtracks for each version of a level. The thing is, the good news is, you won't have to watch me go through every version of a level. Cause, that could take a really long time. Just being honest. But yeah, like, I like that about this game. But the fact that they did like something really different like that, and the fact that, you know, you can go with the past and present, I mean, past and future of any stage, but when you go to the future here, you just go back to the present. Oh, and those giant rings are back. But this time, it's some different bonus stages. Now, interestingly enough, and Sonic, this is some more, you know, Easter egg knowledge for y'all. They reused some properties from this in Sonic Mania. The, um, like, the bonus stages are very similar to these. And, you know, 
I like this technology that they used in for Sonic, uh, Sega CD back in the day. Even though it, it kind of looks like the Super Nintendo technology back in the day. You know, like they had certain games like Castlevania 4 where they had these like certain sections of certain games where they had stuff pop out like this. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty cool feature, I think, for back in the day, even though, like, we're way past cool. Not trying to make a Sonic joke there, but, you know, we're way past, you know, that period of time, you know, like, with, when it comes to those old graphics and stuff like that. Like, this stuff was cool back in the day. I think, I still take a liking to all this old stuff. I'm a gamer after all, like, I'm an extreme gamer. Question is, do you game? Will you game, would you game after you streamed, if you're a streamer? Because I think most people wouldn't. I think most people would be tired and it's like, man, do you even game? You, my friend, are probably a casual gamer. I mean, I might be talking shit, it might be that I might have an addiction. But you know what? This is a fun addiction. And anyways, I can say no to games. I have. I went out, I went a complete year without playing games. Like once in my entire life. And the thing is, the thing is though, it was during a time that where I was just having fun and adventures mostly every day anyways. But it was also a very chaotic time. And, you know, my schedule was chaotic. I didn't have time to really gain. Did a part of me miss it? Oh, absolutely. If games were suddenly just went away one day, I don't know what I would do. I, I, I think, though, I'd have to deal with it. But, like, it would take time to make, you know, amends with the idea that, you know, it's, you know, games are gone. But maybe that won't be a thing. Who knows? Oh, no. I didn't have 50 rings. You gotta have 50 rings to go through those giant rings in this one. That means I have to definitely go through another act where I have to play a bonus stage, but, you know, oh well. And this is what I, this is what happens when you don't get two time zones in every stage. The, the robot, the final act turns futuristic and evil. It, like, but if you get the, t uh, you know, two times stones, you know, in every act, like you get like a like a more natural zone. Yeah, man, I'm definitely gonna be playing that shit. Hey, hey, hey! You know how long it took me to build that? Yeah, man, you didn't even. You didn't even take much time. How long did it take you? A preschooler could have built that. Man, did you make that out of Mega Bloks? Like, that was a pathetic ass attempt at one of your machines, Dr. Fat Nick. Dr. Fat Bot Nick. We're gonna also be playing Fable 1. Lost Ages and Fable 2 on Xbox. You see? So I don't even like the side hoe. Look, he let another man take his side hoe. Look, he, he ain't even running. He just doesn't care. Well, I guess I gotta save her. I mean, he did pluck her rose after all. You know, he took her rose. Her name is Amy Rose, if it, you know you didn't catch my joke already.
So I got all the hosts. He got Amy Rose. <laughs> he he got Sal Young, Acorn. He got this white bitch in Sonic 06 that's a human, and you know, it's not bestiality, but Sonic didn't give a fuck. So what if she kissed him? He didn't care. He just laid there asleep, pretending like he was Sleeping Beauty, and just let her go at it. <sighs> yeah, as you can see, they definitely took ideas off of this from um, Spring Yard Zone and Sonic 1. This looks exactly, you know, well not exactly, but similar to it. With all the glowing lights and stuff. And that, my friends, is one cheap way to turn the go to the past and future. But my question though is... <laughs> like, my question is... Why is Sonic going... Sonic, why are we going to the past and present? Like, I don't know, this Sonic didn't have a voice, so I guess you can't say, but... My guess is... We're in some kind of... Back to the Future scenario right here. And I guess... You know... We gotta... Save this hoe... That Sonic let... Get... That Sonic let get... Kidnapped for some kind of reason. But for some reason, we're going to the past and the future. I mean, I know part of the reason why, you know, why the, the, we're like we're here collecting all these time stones to free little big planet i mean i'm not gonna call it little planet you know it is what it is we're having fun here he's got to save little big planet and his amy hose his hose name amy yeah we got to save her from metal sonic basically a clone she basically, shit, she let herself get kidnapped. She kidnapped, let herself get kidnapped for a generic version of me. That's why she, she ran off with him. She just acted like she was getting kidnapped. Boy, I can't wait till we get to Sonic 3 and Knuckles, though. That is hands down the best one. Not, not only design-wise, not only story-wise, music-wise, too. Oh, yeah. And he took Mario's bitch. You know why. You know why. Because, you know, Sonic is way past cool. And he's smooth like that. You good, bruh. You good. But as I was saying, he took Mario's bitch too. Not that she was really Mario's bitch anyways. Anybody that you know... <laughs> yeah, exactly. She, she, she's not really loyal to anyone. She's, she's another streetwalker. Just like Amy Rose. That, that, that's the reality of that. Like, she's just another street walker like Amy Rose. Yep. Yep. She definitely made... She definitely made that turtle pop out of his shell. And that... She made that turtle spit fire. With her peach. And now, she's about to do the same to Sonic at some point. 
She probably did at the Olympics. You know, because Sonic and the Mario cast had a little Olympics competition going on. Damn, I keep missing these 50 rings. I gotta get these 50 rings. It's the only way to save Little Big Planet. You mean the Mario movie or the Sonic movie? Because I've seen all three of them. I've seen Sonic 1. I've seen Sonic 2. I've seen the Mario movie. Um, They're all good. But I'm going to be honest. Sonic 2 definitely... Yeah, she let... She let... <laughs> She's definitely just running off with Bowser. That's what I'm... That's what I'm saying. Listen, Mario has a real woman, and her name is... Lucia or something like... She's that one bitch in Sonic Galaxy. The, the one chick with the blue dress in Sonic Galaxy. According to... Rumors in Sonic lore, that's actually Mario's woman. And Luigi's woman? I, yeah, he has a woman. It's Daisy. But Peach? Shit, Peach has... Like, Peach has no... Respect. Like, that's not the word I was, you know, thinking of. But, but like... She just, just didn't really want Mario. I guess Mario has no sauce. I mean... I, I just don't know. But with that said, I do like Mario games too. I'm really good at Mario games as well. Not just Sonic games. I'm a master at Mario games. In fact, you know, I beat Super Mario Brothers 3. Well, not beat, but I was I might as well have came close to beating Super Mario Brothers 3. And Fat Albert didn't even say for an interview that time. Because he knew his machine was whack. Hey, 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 don't make fun of my machines. It isn't my fault this is this machine was uncreative, just like this stage. <laughs> exactly. Yep, she's an interstate hoe, just like Eric. See, like, look at that shit. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, she doesn't need a rescue. He's just there. Just like this level design of this place. It's just there. Like, they straight up jacked the Labyrinth Zone style on this stage. This looks exactly like the Labyrinth Zone in the first game. It's me, your stalker! I don't know if that was a good, you know, like, voice, but I tried. <laughs> yeah, he, he was stalking her like Violent J from the song The Stalker and Beverly Kills 50187. For all you juggalos. Because I know I got like a juggalo follower. He knows what I'm talking about. Come on! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty damn funny, wasn't it, though? Yeah, I'm not the voice of many voices, like, the man of a million voices, like, there's this rapper I know by the name of Jamie Matrox, yes, he named 
himself after the X-Men named Jamie Madras. He's part of this rap group called Twisted, which is, they're my fa second favorite rap act. He can do so many impressions. Hell yeah, man. But like, he can do so many impre voice impressions. In fact, he's done voiceovers for certain movies that people don't even know. But he even did... Hey, Chaos, he even did the voice for Eminem on that Eminem disc called Slim Anus. Like, he did the... He's the one that did Eminem's voice in that. But, like, he's so talented. Like, like... I don't know how you could do it because I noticed when I was doing, you know, some of this voice stuff, like, it kind of hurts your voice. I mean, I can sing. Singing doesn't bother me as much as trying to do a voice impression, no. That shit is rough. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, well, I was looking through YouTube one day, the song that's playing, which is dope, hell yeah, man. Yeah, Jamie Madrox is super talented. Oh, and he's the one that does, like, all the singing when they do rock songs. So he does this, a lot of the singing in their, like, damn. Damn. You know what I've realized? As good as I am at Sonic games, I'm, I am kind of need improvement when it comes to talking and gaming a little bit. That, that going to take some getting used to, but I know that I'm still really talented for playing these kind of games. Damn, I really gotta get with it with getting 50 rings, or I'm never gonna save Little Big Planet. I don't know where I was before I went on about, like, talking about Jamie Madrox. But, um... Yeah. Like, I hope that... I can become better at it, that, because I think I could make some funny ass shit on here. No, oh, wait, that's what it was. I remember now what I was about to talk about. So the beat, the song, I was looking on YouTube one day, and I seen that they had, they used this beat, and somebody used an editing program, and they edited, like, the Fresh Prince song, you know what I'm talking about, the theme song to the Fresh Prince, Will Smith, they added that to this song, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Okay, it was actually pretty dope, but I found that pretty silly that they added a Will the Fresh Prince song to this beat. Like you can you can still probably find it on YouTube, but I was like, you have too much time on your hands putting the Fresh Prince theme song lyrics over this, like Will Smith rapping over this beat. And just like Will Smith, you just took that slap to the face, Sonic. Come on, man, get with the program. And you let yourself drown. Thank you. Thank you, Sonic. Personally, I think this song is fire. But I can see how you could turn it into a rap song with Will Smith over it. I can I can hear it now. Mm -hmm. 
Man, I gotta quit letting myself get hit. I need to get these 50 rings. I don't have a lot more opportunities to get 50 rings. Come on, man! Really? Whatever. I guess I just won't get the good ending. Not that it matters. That, the, like, the, the, like, the ending of this one is okay. Plus, it basically tells you at the end, you're a great player, basically, for doing it. Really? You can die from that? This is absolute bullshit! Fucking bullshit! What the fuck? This is what's asking why kids couldn't play this game. These younger kids couldn't play this game. They'd get too mad over cheap ass deaths like that. That's the only way I die in these games, is cheap ass deaths. Well, I know this. One, in the future, we're definitely playing Mario. That includes 2D and 3D. And we're definitely playing Donkey Kong Country. Like, uh, like I'm talking about the first three games, though. And maybe the newer ones that came out on the Wii U and Switch. I don't know how exactly it works on a Wii U, but, like, playing this... Yeah, bro. Take some sheer. Take sheer skill to play these kind of games. I know there's people that, like somewhere there's some asshole out there that agrees, but I'll be like, "Come on, man, put up your stream then. If you're that much better than me, I want to see you do better than me. Like, like I want to see. I want to see this shit." You're not stealing my clout, buddy. Again? Fuck you, fat Albert wannabe. Jennifer Stone, thank you, thank you, and welcome to the chat. Well, I know she's seen it, but like, or is watching now, but look at that, look at that, another follower. We're up to eight followers now, people. Now, I know I have a bunch of other people that want to support me. There's going to be more along the way. This chat's only going to get better and better, and I'm going to keep doing this every day. This is my career. I really think I found my purpose is doing this. Hey there, what up? And welcome to my, this, the show. Oh, I'm doing great. Just enjoying this classic. How are you? Did I, or did I ask that already? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm bit, bit like, I'm a bit distracted right here by this game. You need precision of, when it comes to these games quite a bit. What the hell? Yeah, 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 Messenger. I know Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Like, I'll be here every day. I'm gonna be here. It doesn't matter if it's one hour, two hours. Like, I might even do a half hour, maybe. I don't know. I work a full-time job on top of doing this. It's kind of hard 
like with a full-time job. But I do have my days off. And unlike most people, I have a very unique schedule. Oh yeah. I could be great if I did. I know, I know, man. I know, I know, but... It, like, well, it's gonna be great because um, this week, like, I'm waiting for Sonic Rebirth to come out. And, we're, like, I'm playing this in the meantime. I mean, it's just, you know, a really good weekend that's coming up. I'm gonna have five days off of work. Because that's the way my schedule works. And I plan on streaming long streams this weekend. Gonna be like eight hours plus this weekend. I hope, like, you know, all my followers get to pop in their heads here and there. Because I look forward to seeing everybody and anybody. And I'm trying to beat this fat bastard, this glorious fat bastard, Dr. Fat Botnik. Oh, I play, I'm really into RPGs, horror, survival horror, and platform. Like, the thing is, I don't really play platforming as much as other game like RPG and survival horror. But I really love Sonic, Mario, and Mega Man. Like and I like Crash Bandicoot. But uh yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this rebirth. And more RPGs. And I'm down to play other games. I have other ideas. Like, you know, like, I'm, or should I say, I'm down with ideas of people asking me to play certain games. Like, in the, ch like in the chat, what do you guys like to play? I mean, I'm also, I also like shooting games, uh, I like fighting games to a degree, but I only play Mortal Kombat, really, most of the time. But I'm about to buy Tekken 8 here soon. And we're probably going to have a, a, like some smaller streams that aren't a series of streams in the future. Like, um... Oh, damn. I feel you. I mean, that you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you do in life. As for me, I'm, I'm so addicted to gaming that I play it when traffic sits still. I'm kidding about that last part. I don't play while traffic is sitting still. That, that, that was a joke, but I mean, I play on my breaks at work. No, like not currently. I do like I don't have any pets like um. I do like cats. Right now, I'm trying to, you know, take care of myself and my debts. But one day, I'd like to own a cat. And if I had the nerve, I'd probably have a tarantula for something for cool effect. Yeah, like, I mean, I like dogs too, I'm just... You know, I'm I'm only cool with that, like a handful of dogs. Like the very few dogs that I like, you know, I actually like them, but the rest of the dogs I don't. To be honest, like there's just one day that I walked home from school. Like it was like high like I was in high school at the time. And I remember this one neighbor's dog, it was a smaller dog. It bit me. I came out, barked at me, and bit me for no reason. And, you know, then it ran away and stuff. And it wasn't one, it wasn't one of those play bites. It hurt. And, like, I had, I was half attempted to kick this dog. Because, you know, I was not happy about this dog biting me for no reason. I mean, cats can bite you for no reason, too. I don't like that, but I mean, 
Since that day, I've been kind of weary of strange dogs. What's that? What's this idea that you got for me? Shit, yeah, I got an idea too. I wish I would have did better collecting all these rings so I could get to all the special stages that I was supposed to. Now I think I've missed the like the, the floodgates to get the, the special ending at the end of this game. Because there's a special ending if you get all the time zones, but I, I really fucked that up. But I mean, this, this game in particular was made to be more like a closer to a Mario game when it came out. Like Sonic CD... Oh! Hallelujah! I actually have a big ring! I gotcha. Um... The thing is that's a work in process. Like, I, I did everything but a few, like something like that. Like, the banner? I, I need to fix that, but the banner on top is meant to say Arcade up there. Like, it's supposed to be like the sign that says Arcade, and below it is an Arcade. But I think I blew up the, like, you know, the banner too much. But I want to create, eventually, create my own banner and, you know, have it hanging up in my own logo. It's just, it takes me time for these things. Like, there's this promo on Facebook. I have a Facebook. It's just simply called Keep Clout. Like, you, all you gotta do is look for the picture that shows what looks like my face. Like, it's, you'll see it's really easy. But, like, I had this promo I created. I'm a graphics designer, or I went to school for graphics design. And it's probably, like, the first, it's the first graphics design I've created in years. And it's, like, the proudest thing that I've created in a long time. Like, I haven't been that... Yeah, thank you. Like, I haven't created anything like that in forever. And it felt so good. I felt so proud of it. But it, the problem is, because of how out of practice I am... Nice! That is awesome. Animation was one of the things I was learning in that class. And that that's really cool. But, like, you went for straight for animation, which is dope. But, uh... Like I was saying, like, I'm rusty... Like, I'm behind the times. I've never worked a graphics design job once after I graduated in graphics design. It was pretty much impossible to find a graphics design job in Ohio, where I was living at at the time. And, you know, it never panned out for me. But the thing is, I have the know-how. It's just I'm rusty, and I need practice in order for me to create promos. And I know I would need practice to create a banner. Like, I was not just practice, I need time. Like, my... Yeah! Absolutely! Like, I have a Discord. Like, I gotta get my information up, I think. Or I might create a new one, but absolutely! It's, it, it, it's just, I'm having, like I said, like, my schedule is so busy, like, between my main job, oh, nice, I gotta remember to sit, like, write that down, like, I, I, like, I gotta, I gotta remember to write that down when I get the chance, when I'm not gaming, and, like, you know, I gotta look at the stream, look at the comments in the stream. But like yeah, I was saying, like, yeah, we definitely could do that. Um, be honest, <laughs> I haven't used it in a long time. I used to use it, but like I stopped using it. So I took the app off. I don't remember its name, but I'll start, I'll start a new one. I'll start a new one based off my name on Twitch. My name on Twitch is, um, Spectacular Mr. Clout is my name on Twitch, and I'm gonna be called Spectacular Mr. Clout. 
on my Discord when... Yeah, 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 yeah! Absolutely! Absolutely! Like I was saying, I don't have an idea yet about what that logo is going to look like. Like, I would need some ideas. I'd probably even run with it with my moderator, too, because my moderator is actually... Like, I, I, he's gonna... Like, I don't know how to set up my mod... Like, a moderator on here. But my moderator is my second hand, right-hand man, and we definitely talk about certain things. Like, he's gonna be editing stuff in YouTube. Yes. Yes, that'd be great. But I definitely have to include him in it, too. Because we're a team. Even though I'm going to be all doing all the talking and streaming, we're, we're a team. And I'm, I'm definitely going to sh like share with him the ideas that you have as well. Like, share what we, you know, discuss. He's basically my Jesse Pinkman, and you know I'm a Heisen um, Heisenberg. Absolutely. Did you see that uh, Pokemon Presents? You like Pokemon, don't you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, like, I figured I'd had to ask because, you know, like, I was asking people about the, like, Pokemon Presents that came out today, and I gotta say, it was very, very, very disappointing. Like, just really hardly any main title games except a new Pokemon Legends. And while I'm happy that Game Freak is gonna take their time on this next Pokemon game, it was disappointing that they couldn't at least give us a hint of anything else beyond Pokemon Legends. What they did show us though is a bunch of side games like Pokemon Unite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to actually create a new one, if you don't mind. Like, we're gonna have to create a new- I'm gonna have to create a new one. And, during my little t bit of time that I have, before I work, cause I work at 7.10, I mean, no. 7.30 Eastern specific time. Like, I'm gonna stop this stream like, probably around 6.30 or, like, yeah, around 6.30. Gonna brush my teeth and do all that fancy stuff. And I'm, like, I'm going to you know, also just start a new Discord. I might as well. But yeah, it, it's gonna be like Mr. Fa like I said, like Spectacular Mr. Clout will be the name. I hope no one took the name. I hope it's it's original, like on there because it seems that my name's original on Twitch. Like I, there's this one streamer that I follow, Dead Man XO, and. He pointed out how cool of a name it is, and how original it is. I'm like, yeah, like, I saw it on the last fly. For some reason, I thought of Spider-Man with using my name. Yes, exactly. And there you go, folks. That's what happens, like, in Sonic games. Like in the old ones, there's cheat deaths everywhere. And that's the only way that I really get killed in these games, is cheat deaths. Because I don't die from lack of skills, that's wrong. That's not... 
That that's not why I die at all. Not whatsoever. Hey Saucy, you still here? I know I think Chaotic's still here, but Saucy's gone. Yes. That is my Twitch name. Sometimes I'll be co-oping with people. Like Deadman XO, he asked me if I wanted to go on Fortnite with him, you know, on some of his streams sometimes. So you'll be able to catch me playing Fortnite. Like in fact, I'm gonna try to run my stream the same time as him. So I will play Fortnite. I just re-downloaded Fortnite. How hey run do you have What's that mean? Hey run do you have X or do hey do you have time? I'm confused. Oh yeah, I I definitely have Fortnite right now. I re-downloaded it because you know like I watched the stream and yeah, hey, but like you no know, you like do you wanna play with us? Like, would you like to? I'm like, yeah! It's like, why not? Why not do a team-up? Oh! No, I don't! I mean... I'm up I'm up to do that, it's just... You know, I used to have a Twitter a long time ago. But I cut that Twitter down. Because I just didn't get into it. Yeah, like... my tw I shut down my Twitter account... Because, like, I don't know, I guess at the time I couldn't get into it. And also, I'm not, um, I'm like, I, like, at the time I was doing Facebook as well, like, I was getting heavy into, um, social media back then. And then, I don't know, I lost interest over, like, doing social media. But it's like, I'm down to do it, start a Twitter to start, you know, speaking with my followers when I have more. Yes. Nice. Yep. I do too. I have a Facebook, an Instagram, and a YouTube channel. Like, my Facebook is called Keith Clout. My Instagram is called Keith Clout underscore 22. My, um,. YouTube channel is also called Keith Cloud. You know, I made it really easy for anybody to find me. Yeah, I mean, I might not have a TikTok or a, uh, an, a Twitch, but I have all those other social media outlets. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I try. I mean, I'm trying to be, you know, a little more, a lot more open when it comes to um, social media than I have. And, like, I've been quiet for too long, but I know with me tr trying to get into this stream, like, live streaming career, yes, I said career, like, I'm, I'm gonna have to be more social despite the fact that I'm in, in real life I'm not as that as social I'm I'm, I'm kind of an introvert really but I'm I'm going I, I'm I'm willing to go get out of my shell for this for streaming. And just chatting it up and, you know, having fun with people. Nice! Nice, nice. Yeah, there is gonna be definitely be a Discord. At some point, there's definitely going to be a Discord at some point. Uh, uh, don't mind me yawning, y'all. Like, I work nights. And it's rough. 
but I've done it since 2015. At this point, I'm used to it. I just wish, you know, I could have had, like, you know, if, if it wasn't a work night, I would take, like, you know, make time to pause my, like, what I'm doing and get some coffee. Like, there's this great coffee. It's called Bones Coffee. It's the best coffee in the world. Like, I've had all kinds of coffee. I even drink mushroom coffee. Um, this stuff called Rise. Like, it's actually really healthy for you. I just don't like how healthy... I mean, not... not I'm not saying... I, I don't like how healthy it is. I don't like, you know, the lack of 40, like the um, the lack of caffeine in it. Like it's only 40 grams of caffeine. It's like I, I need more. Like if I was a spokesman and I spoke to Rice personally, I would tell him your coffee needs more caffeine in it. Like that—that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's, it has healthy properties for you. I dig that. Let's move to coffee. Oh, I've never had that. I don't know if I could get behind that though. If it tastes too much like egg, I don't think I'd be able to drink that. Cause I don't like eggs really. I like um, I like um. Scrambled eggs. I, like, I only eat them scrambled. I've only ever eat like, had eggs, like, two, like, one time. And so I had an eggs benedict. And actually that eggs benedict was pretty good, but I don't, I don't mess with eggs. Thank you. Yep, there's a coffee, and that's news to me, too. But anyways, this is an epic part. This is the first time Metal Sonic and Sonic went in against each other. And it's epic as shit. Except that, that wasn't epic as shit. Ah, that, okay, that makes sense. But I love this battle right here. Because it's essentially a race to the finish. Because we gotta, we gotta save Amy Rose, Sonic's hoe. Because you know, Sonic ain't dedicated to one female animal. He's just a straight up player. And Dr. Fat Botnik's a simp. And he let his marriage dictate creating all of these animals that that are have ro that are robot form. Man, Doctor Fat Botnik's been quiet. He hasn't been really. You mean uh, mushroom coffee? No, mushroom coffee. Is an acquired taste, I'm not gonna lie. But even my girlfriend liked it. Like, my girlfriend, you know, she's from another country. She lives in Nigeria. She really, really, like, liked it. And I was surprised, but, you know, because, you know, it kind of has an earthy taste. Rice mushroom coffee. But it's healthy for you. It's extremely healthy for you. Like, it does a lot for you. Hell yeah. Oh, that's what egg coffee does? Yeah, I feel it, Jennifer Stone. You know what I hate, Jennifer Stone? I hate when I get drunk. Ah, I see. But like, you know what I hate though, Jennifer Stone? I, I hate getting drunk. Like when I get really drunk. When I get drunk, I have something called, um, I, I have something called, um, what was it?
No, no, no. When, when I get... Yeah, yeah. I have something called Drunk Munchies. I don't know if anybody's heard of it, but it's basically the equivalent to getting high and, like, you know... Yes, yes, I do. All right, all right. But, you know... You know, it's fun once in a while. But like I said, I get drunk munchies when I drink too much. And I eat. And eat, like... And sometimes, though, it's the only way I beat getting drunk without falling asleep, because... I gotta tell you, I can't hold my liquor as much anymore. Probably because I'm an age. But, I mean, last time, like, I was at a party... Year, like, this was years ago. I was visiting Ohio, and a friend invited me, and we pretty much partied all night, and they had all kinds of alcohol, and like, it was the 4th of July weekend, and I got so drunk that night, but like, I was able to keep my composure, it was probably because of all that food, like, food is kind of my cheat. <laughs> I cheat. I cheat when I drink sometimes. Like that food's my cheat code these days. But yeah, uh, beer. I like it. I just like craft beer. I don't like any of that. Um. Yep. I like dark and amber alcohol and craft beer. But I like liquor more than anything else when it comes to drinking. I, I'm just sad that I wasn't able to get that special ending for y'all. But I mean, this game, like, you, you, you need to have 50 rings and you gotta make sure that you're focused, really, really focusing and paying attention. But I mean, I know I'm going to beat all the super, the secret state, uh, yeah, beat all the secret stages. <laughs> oh, don't even go there with the jungle juice. Yes, that was, like, I know that chaos was only there for a little bit of time, but that night was wild. The jungle juice night, the night I created jungle juice. That was such a good epic night. What's going on here? Oh, okay, that's right. It cost me $70 to make jungle juice. And it's probably more expensive with the way everything's rising in price. But like, I wanted to get everybody drunk. Like, the thing is, it was only supposed to be kind of a get-together, but what was a get-together turned into a house party. Like, I had a house party at my, the place where I said. Oh, re yeah, I remember. It was during the winter of 2010. And we had a house party. What's up? Like, who's feeling my stream right now? Come to the, like, come up and speak in the chat. We're about to end Sonic CD here and beat Dr. Fat Botnik. Man, I thought for a second that was a bombless pit, y'all. But man, Dr. Fat Botnik's been quiet for some time. He hasn't exactly been talking. I wonder if we're gonna hear him talk now. I think he's just upset that all his machines were whack. He's really sad that his machines were so whack in this game. Otherwise, we would have heard from him by now. Look, Mini Sonic. It's a Mini Me Sonic. Yeah, I don't understand why, like in this game, you have you're playing around as a miniature Sonic, a miniature Hedgehog. I guess he's trying to crush me with his fat weight. He's trying to make me Lois Griffin and Family Guy, because you know. Watching a Family Guy, you you know that she suffocates under Peter Griffin. I just can't wait till we get to Sonic Mania. There's so many Easter eggs in Sonic Mania. 
Like, and I'm talking all over the series and the side games. Did you know that this game, this level makes a reappearance in Sonic Mania? But did you also know that also the last level I played Stardust Speedway. Also, that was the fastest stage in Sonic, the Sonic series up to this part. Back in the day. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that there's an episode where he turns, tries to turn Lois fat. I don't know if anybody remembers that. But, like, he was trying to feed her to make her fat. Because I guess it was turning him hot and sexy. Like, turning him hot and ready like a fucking uh, Little Caesar's pizza. Uh, like, and he was trying to make her fatter. And I guess she decided not to be fat anymore after that. But yeah, like I was saying though, um, Last Stage Stardust Speedway also makes a return in Sonic Mania. That's the Green Hill Zone in the first Sonic game. But like, like, um, Stardust Speedway in Sonic CD at one point was the fastest zone ever. At one point. Damn, is it me or am I going backwards, everybody? That's what I don't like about, you know, this level is this. Wow, okay, I see what's going on. I made a whoopsie, an oopsie here. Whoopsie, oopsie. Oopsie. Seriously? Stop with going backwards, Sonic! Finally! What?! Oh, okay, there we go. Hey, look y'all! You see those bombs that explode on here? They're the same enemy from Sonic 1. Like, the one that just exploded for me? They, they definitely took that from the first game. You know what's crazy? Like, when you're streaming... And, you know, most of the time your phone's quiet when, when like... You're not streaming? That's me. Like, I've had so many people reach out to me. And it's funny that any other time when I'm just gaming and not, you know, playing in front of an audience, that's when, you know, people want to reach out to me. Ridiculous. Like, nobody called me, but I've been getting... Text. I've been get. I, I just recently got a message on, you know, Messenger on Facebook. And these things were obviously taken from the last stage in the first Sonic game. Don't, don't, don't! No, Sonic, it ain't safe there! No, Sonic, it's dangerous! Exactly! They need to come to the stream if they want to talk with me. I'm a busy man.
Come on, man. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm like, I know this is off and cocky me, but I'm like a god when it comes to Sonic games. And this game, I definitely have played the least. But, you know, I'm still good at it. But I definitely need to play it more when I'm practicing. I mean, I need to practice more when I'm playing this game. Like, you know, if I'm to ever stream this game again. Oh, I already mentioned that. I, I've already mentioned that. There's already a timeline. After the after this, it's back to Final Fantasy Rebirth, and then it's gonna be Dying Light 2 because Dying Light has a new version of it called Reloaded. Also, I've not beaten Dying Light 2 yet. Just like I'm never gonna beat this game if I don't focus. I'm not blaming y'all, it's just... This level it can be cheap right here. But like, I, I got more games, let's see. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Dying Light 2, Reloaded Edition. Um, go play some Tekken 8 streams. I'm going to play some Fortnite here. I'm gonna co-op with some of my partners on here. Well, he's not really a partner, but a streamer that I met. That he's down to like, you know, you know, invite me to like a, one of his live streams, like jump on one of his live streams and play Fortnite. But I think I'm going to live stream at the same time as him playing from my side. And we're gonna stream both at the same time. That's my plan. Tekken 8, I got Final Fantasy 16 after Dying Light 2. And then later on in the year, I'm gonna be playing Paper Mario 64. Like, there's gonna be a road to Paper, uh, pa Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Like, I'm, go I'm gonna play beat Paper Mario first before playing Thousand Year Door. Hey, hey, hey! I know you didn't like one of my other machines, but I was too embarrassed to speak about them in the last machines. But here's my last attempt. I know it's just a bunch of boxes around a circle, but I'm going to kill you with all these boxes! Nah, man. You can't even beat your wife's box. What makes you think you're gonna beat m me with those ones? I just want a friend! Well, I'm not gonna be your friend, Dr. Fat Botnik. Is that why you invited me here to be your friend? Yes, I just want a friend, and I just want to turn you into a robot. Why? I don't know. Maybe so I can teabag your face again with my metal ball. My metal balls! Oh, sh it's Amy. Please leave me alone. Yeah. Yep, got a tip. I wish I could do a Sonic accent, because I would have said something funny there. But he, he got a dip. Now he's ready to ditch Amy Rose. Amy Ho. Ho ho ho! Sonic! I'm making off with your stones! Oh no! My balls!
There he is. This is cr oh shit. Man, it looks like Dr. Fat Bonnick's running out of friends. They're no longer animals. They're they're now plants. I love that race with Metal Sonic. And Metal Sonic also makes a return in Sonic Mania as well. And he returns in Sonic 4 as well. And Knuckles Chaotix. Then he has this Super Saiyan, well not Super Saiyan, but he has this red form where he turns to a giant Metal Sonic. I wish they would have included Knuckles Chaotix in this collection. The, the, the game for Sega's 3-2-X. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! This is probably like my first, you know... No, actually... I think I heard City Escape before this song. By the way, who's gonna buy that new Sonic game that's coming out this year? Sonic X Shadow Generations. It's basically a remaster of Sonic Generations. Yeah, I know, brother. It's just, you know, I, I also have other people, even new followers, that might be interested. You know, they, they might be interested in, you know, the new game that's coming. Hey, I managed to save Little Big Planet after all. Or I blew it up. We will be playing Mega Man. But I'm probably going to face more deaths than that. And there she is. Lonely ass Amy Hose. Playing cards by herself. Nice. Yeah, we're going into Sonic 2. Like, we don't have a whole lot of time until Final Fantasy comes back. So, we're going, like, I need to text my, text my girl for a moment. And then we're going to get to Sonic 2. Bro, I already said that. We are definitely doing Donkey Kong Country. Now, if Nintendo was to release Donkey Kong 64, I'd consider that too. But we're doing all the Donkey Kong Countries too. I'm good at those games too. Just not better than it than I am at Sonic. And now we're visiting a new island. Oh boy. Oh no! They're gonna double team him. Oh, this ain't good. I just saved him from being double teamed. Here's my lame pal tails. My gay pal tails. They almost took him down. They almost took my freaky two tailed friend down. And here we go, Sonic 2, the community's favorite game. I said that with such subtlety because I disagree. Now, this is the first Sonic game I've ever played. 
if you didn't know. But also, this game was magical. It was at a magical time playing through this. I played through so much. It was such a hard game for me when I first played this. But it's also the easiest. And I'll actually be able to beat all the special stages this time. Which unlocks a special power-up if you know Sonic lore. But man, you gotta love these grass tropes. They're in every Sonic game and Mario game. Like, this is basically the same stage from Sonic 1. But yeah, Mario also has a grass stage at the beginning of every game. And that's where their sim similarities stop. But I like this. Oh shit, where's Tails? Oh shit, he isn't here to fuck up my special stage round. You know how whack and terrible that AI is on this special stage. Like, Tails makes it so hard to win these special stages. Yeah, he did. But he's also bi-curious. Because those two Tails were about to double team him at the beginning. You know, he is two Tails. He's double freaky. He likes both sides. While Sonic just chased Skirt. Skirt, Skirt. I told you I'd get it. I'm rolling around and spinning it. I'm rolling around and spinning it. I'm rolling around and spinning it. Rings, I spend it. Rings, I spend it. I'm rolling around and spinning it. I'm rolling around and spinning it. I'm rolling around and spinning it. Rings, I get it. Oh yeah, Knuckles is coming. I can't wait till we get to the third game. That's when he, that's his first appearance as Sonic 3 and Knuckles, back in 1993. And this game, I actually know the date though to this game. This game came out July 22nd, 1992. It also is known as Sonic 2 Day. They also put like a 2 in front, within it at, at like you know within the name of that day like it was such a celebrated day it actually was the highest selling game that year I think and at this point it was out selling Mario like Mario didn't always win Mario definitely lost his butt to Sonic back around that time And actually, Sega is kind of salty right now that they just can't seem to keep up with Mario right now. Like, the newest Sonic game just didn't do better than Wonder. I, I played Wonder. The thing is, you know, um, Super Mario Wonder, like, while it was good, I don't know. There, there seems to be, like, a formula to all platform games that they're good, but they lack a um, replayability. Even these can't, I don't know, I'm enjoying this because, not only because I really enjoy these games, but like I have an audience. I mean, I probably wouldn't even consider playing this by myself until, I don't know, some point down the line, maybe like years down the line. 
I'm not years, but it could be a it could be months down the line, it could be a month down the line, and I'll consider playing this by myself. But it's just like you know, I play play these so much that it's I hardly find anything new. But best believe I still find new stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm just getting it. Like, I'm doing so much better now. Because I've completely mastered this game. I love every time I say that, that something happens. I, I fucking love that. Such bullshit. Remind me, y'all, I'm going backwards a little bit. There is a post that I missed. And no, I ain't talking about post cereal. The kind that they used to be around, even though I used to really like sugar smacks. I'm talking about those kind of posts. Oh, shit! Fucking coconuts. I ain't talking about the fruit. I'm talking about that... Monkey in the game is also called Coconuts. And they base that monkey... Like, like, on, there used to be a show called The Adventures of Sonic... Um, the Hedgehog... Um, called, like, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And that monkey... They created a character using his likeness in it. And he actually had a voice. And like, the Avengers of Sonic and Hedgehog was this slapstick show that just made no sense at times. Like, it was outrageous. Like, Nostalgia Critic made fun of it and criticized it heavy, and it's like... I mean, I don't blame him. Like, that show is... off its rocker. I mean, he's right. It's like it was made for kids for ADHD. Maybe... Maybe this new generation would like that show, because it seems a lot of these kids... Have ADHD. Just looking at the time because it's almost almost that time. Yeah, 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 you know that, and the old guy, old grind, man. You know, the thing is, I've been thinking about this stream when I'm at work. Like, I don't even really think about work as much now. Like, I mean, not that I do a lot of times. I mean, I do to make sure I don't get any defects. But outside of that, I'm not thinking about work. Like, I'm thinking about what I'm listening to. I'm thinking about this stream. I'm thinking about what kind of funny shit I could say on this stream. I'm not gonna lie. But, it, it, you know, some of the shit, though, I just let it naturally flow, too. I do both. Can't touch me. Can't touch me like... <laughs> yeah, and I guess Tails is a stalker too. He took Amy, but he's also stalking Sonic. I mean, he is vicarious. I mean, he went to Amy, and he's behind Sonic all the time because he's constantly stalking him. You know, he wants some of that Sonic Chili Dogs. He likes some good old Sonic Chili Dogs. It's totally wrong, but... Yeah. Tails is a weirdo.
And I'm glad he isn't here to fuck up my the special bonus stage because he's totally drunk whenever he's on this stage with me. Every time I'm like, Tails! Tails, we gotta collect these rings correctly so we can get these emeralds and he's drunk off his ass hitting all these bombs. But it's like, he's like, Sonic! I'm just trying to get these Jaeger bombs! They're not Jaeger bombs, they're real bombs! Fuck. And that's what I get for telling his life story. But I was like, they're not Jaeger bombs, Tails. Quit hitting them. I wonder what Dr. Fat Botnik's gotta say. Rod, there's about to be more wildness if I continue enjoying these streams like I am. I, I know it's just gonna become a natural thing. Like, I'm gonna become a straight up, co like, comedian. I'm gonna be able to do actual stand up at, at some point. This is becoming more comfortable as the days go by. Yeah, my boy. Yeah, my boy, Sonic. He's getting all those gems. I mean, emeralds. They're, they're, they're damn emeralds. They're not just gems. I don't know what Dr. Fat Botnik's got to say today. <laughs> yep. No! Come on, man, that's bullshit. Gotta avoid that po post. No! Not again! Come on, man! So, if you couldn't tell, this level was definitely inspired from Green Hill Zone, which is the first ever Sonic level. And they literally just copied and pasted. Now, if only I could get these rings to stick to me, instead of letting these enemies hit me. Damn it! That's not what I wanted to do! Ah, 
it may be this way. Uh, maybe this. There's. Maybe there's more rings this way. Hey, I have something to ask. Has, does anybody in the chat see some little thing in the right corner playing video games, or is that me? Because I think my um computer icon's on right now on the stream. Because I have this thing that, you know, that's... Huh, okay, maybe it doesn't show up on the stream, but I have this icon thing that tells me stuff about my computer, like it tells me if my battery's ready to die. It's just like those paper clips that nobody remembers. And, you know, like, I decided to, like, set that up. Because I want to know if, like, my phone's dead and... I don't know, I kind of like it, this one. I like the paper clip, I like this one. Because once in a while, it's just standing up, playing in an arcade machine. It's like, that's what I'm doing too, buddy! And stupid fucking monkeys just fucking fuck that up. Fuck you all! Fuck you all! Fuck you all! Hey, hey, hey! Here I come and hit you with another generic machine! And I'm gonna drill right through you! Like I did my wife! Listen, you didn't do anything with that needle dick. That's a strap-on, sir. That's a strap-on, because you have a needle dick. Now get out of here. Fucking interview with you. Get out. Da 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 da. da. Anyways. This has been Ultimate Clout Gamer, hosted by your deliciously evil host, Keith Clout. I gotta go to work, but it was great streaming with y'all. Catch you on the flip side, which is tomorrow. <laughs>